what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says what is the value of the square root of iota well we all know that the square root of negative one is equal to iota but now let's solve for the square root of iota well, for the sake of this question, I'm going to be calling it i. Our first step will be for us to express the square root of i as the sum of a real number and an imaginary number, which is complex number. Our next step will be for us to take the square of both sides in order to remove the square root. So I'm going to be taking the square of the left-hand side I'll also take the square of the right hand side. Now you see that the square cancels off the square root, leaving behind i to be equal to. Now to expand this, I'm going to have a squared plus now 2 times a times bi, that is 2abi, then plus b i squared so b i squared well the right hand side can be simplified into we have i to be equal to a squared plus 2 a b i then plus this square is affecting the b and is also affecting the i so we have b squared times i squared but recall that i squared is always equal to negative one so we're going to be putting negative one here so this becomes i equal to a squared plus two a b i plus b squared times in place of i squared i'm going to be putting negative one so that this becomes i equal to a squared plus two a b i now b squared times negative one gives negative b squared our next step will be for us to bring the real numbers together so we have i to be equal to a squared remember we are bringing the real numbers together negative b squared that's a real number then before writing the imaginary number plus 2abi so plus 2abi that's it so this can be simplified into i equal to a squared minus b squared plus now i'm going to be writing this as 2ab in brackets then times i it is still the same thing now notice that what i have on the left hand side is same as 0 plus 1 times iota still the same thing i just want to write the left hand side to have a real number which is zero and an imaginary number which is one i so this is equal to we have a squared minus b squared plus two a b times i our next step will be for us to compare the left hand side to the right hand side we're going to be bringing the real numbers and equate them and we'll do the same thing to the imaginary numbers so the real number on the right is a squared minus b squared and this is equal to the real number on the left is zero now come to the imaginary number well the imaginary number on the right is 2ab while the imaginary number on the left is 
1. So we're going to be equating them. Now, from this case, we can go ahead and make B the subject. And to make B the subject, it means we'll be dividing both sides by 2A. So divide the left-hand side by 2A. Also divide the right-hand side by 2A. So that 2A cancels off, leaving behind B to be equal to 1 all over 2A. So take note of this. We're going to be substituting this in this other case. That means whenever we see B, we're going to be putting 1 all over 2A. So let's substitute this here. This becomes A squared minus B. B is 1 all over 2A. And since this is squared, I'm going to be squaring this expression as well equal to 0. Now this becomes a squared minus. Now this square affects the numerator and the denominator so that it becomes 1 squared is 1 all over. Now 2a squared is 4a squared and this is equal to 0. Let's continue on the next slide. Well, our next step will be for us to combine the fraction on the left. And in order to do that, I'm going to be putting over one here. So look for the LCM. The LCM of one and four A squared is actually four A squared. So four A squared divided by one is four A squared times A squared I'm going to be having 4a to the 4 minus. Now, 4a squared divided by 4a squared, that's 1 times 1 is 1. And this is equal to 0. Our next step will be for us to cross multiply. So when I cross multiply, I have 4a to the 4 minus 1 to be equal to 4a squared times 0 is actually 0. Our next step will be for us to move negative 1 to the right hand side so that we have 4a to the 4 to be equal to as negative 1 crosses to the right it becomes 1. Now let's divide both sides by 4. So we divide the left hand side by 4 and divide the right hand side by 4. So 4 can cancel out 4, leaving behind a to the 4th to be equal to 1 all over 4. Our next step will be for us to get rid of this 4th power by taking the 4th root of both sides. So taking the 4th root of the left hand side, which is a to the 4th, equal to, now when taking an even roots of both sides we tend to have plus or minus so we have the fourth root of one all over four now the fourth root cancels off the fourth power leaving behind a to be equal to plus or minus now this expression is same as writing one all over four to the power of 1 all over 4. Now let's write this 4 in its simplest form. We have a to be equal to plus or minus. Now this is 1 all over. Now 4 is same as 2 squared. And this is raised to the 1 all over 4. Notice that this power affects both the numerator and the denominator. So this can be written as a equal to plus or minus. Now this is 1 to the 1 all over 4 all over 2 squared raised to the 1 all over 4. So this simplifies into a equal to plus or minus. Now 1 to any power is still 1 
all over and from indices powers multiply so two here one two here is what two and two to the one all over two is same as the square root of two and as we can see we can't have a sort as a denominator so we need to rationalize so upon rationalizing i'm going to be multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the square root of two so that a becomes plus or minus one times the square root of two is the square root of two all over square root of two times the square root of two is two so these are the two values of a and we're going to be substituting these values of a to get the values of b now recall that from our previous slide b is equal to 1 all over 2a now to get the first value of b we're going to be substituting the first value of a that is positive so this is 1 all over 2 now substitute a a is the square root of 2 over 2 now notice that 2 can cancel off 2 so that we have b to be 1 all over the square root of 2 which is by rationalizing b will be equal to the square root of 2 all over 2 now let's solve for the other value of b when a is negative square root of 2 all over 2 we're going to be doing that on the next slide we know that we know that b is equal to 1 all over 2a and we are substituting the value of a when a is negative so we have 1 all over 2 times the negative of the square root of 2 over 2. Now notice that this 2 can cancel off so that we have b to be equal to now 1 divided by negative square root of 2 is negative 1 all over the square root of 2. And by rationalizing b will be equal to negative root 2 all over 2. So in conclusion, conclusion, the square root of i, which we said is equal to a plus b i, is now equal to substituting first using the positive value of a when a is the square root of 2 over 2 plus b is also the square root of 2 over 2 now times i and once again we also have the square root of i to be equal to this time taking the negative value of a that's negative root 2 over 2 plus now the value of b is also negative root 2 over 2 so negative root 2 over 2 times i this result to negative root 2 over 2. Now plus times minus is minus root 2 over 2 times i. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.